We have made it to Toulouse, and this city is bustling, but not overcrowded. So I highly recommend coming here. We spent two days in Toulouse just before our cruise down the Canal du Midi in southern France. This charming city is the country's fourth largest, and there are plenty of things to do in Toulouse to make it one of the top destinations to visit in France. We're going to share the best things to do in Toulouse in two days and show you why we fell in love with this unassuming city in the south of France. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel because we put up new travel videos each week. And make sure you click on that bell so that you get notified because you don't want to miss a thing. One of the best things to do when you come to Toulouse is to get the Toulouse Pass. It's a great way to get into all of the top attractions and museums. The Toulouse Pass offers one, two, or three day access that includes public transport and free entrance into most of the city's most popular tourist attractions, including its top museums, monuments and heritage sites, and a free walking tour. One of the best things to do is to take a walking tour through the tourism office. You meet just behind the Capitol building at this one of the most beautiful tourism offices I've ever seen. Walking tours are given in French and English, so make sure to join the one that suits your needs. The tours take you to key attractions as well as some hidden gems. It's an excellent introduction to La Vie Rose. So this is a uh, pass-through for locals from one block to the other. It's nice and cool inside, so let's go check it out. This is a secret walk to from one side of the street to the other. It's very pleasant. Once we got our bearings, it was time to branch out and explore Toulouse on our own. Toulouse is a very walkable city and you can see many of the sites in a day by just walking around the downtown area. I love this main capital square here. During the day, they have a great, huge market if you want to do some shopping. La Place de Capitale is the main city square of Toulouse and it is gorgeous. It's also most likely the first place you'll stop at in Toulouse. The Capitol building dominates a square spanning 420 feet along the east side. It also contains City Hall and the Opera House. Located in the old quarter of Toulouse, La Place de Capitale is lined with restaurants, with outdoor terraces and plenty of shopping. It is a great meeting place. I'm so excited to be in Toulouse. It's my first time here in this amazing city. I already feel at home here. It's full of energy and friendly people. People are coming up to talk to us. You just don't get this in Paris. If you are coming to France, make sure to add Toulouse to your list. Toulouse is located on the Garonne River and you must come down to the Place de la Garade to see the Pont Neuf and all of the sites along the river. It's really funny, they have a Pont Neuf and a Notre Dame, so you feel like you're in a little bit of Paris. Pont Neuf is the oldest bridge in Toulouse dating back to the 16th century. It's the most photographed place in the city and is the perfect spot to watch the sunset. We've come to the Japanese garden just outside of the downtown area and it's such a quiet retreat from the city. I highly recommend coming in the morning and going for a little stroll. The Japanese garden was an unexpected surprise in the heart of the city. The garden offers 7,000 square meters of green space complete with the typical rock gardens, water and pavilions you see in a traditional Japanese garden. While walking through the botanical garden, we saw people enjoying Tai Chi and meditation, and we spied large golden fish in the koi pond and a couple of turtles basking in the sun. It was pure serenity.
The Basilica St. Cernin is dedicated to the first bishop of Toulouse, St. Saturnin. He was a, a martyr who was dragged through the streets by a sacrificial bull in about 250 AD. It's an incredible church inside. On the outside, it seems very unassuming, but when you go inside, it's just one room after another. It is filled with vaults, tombs, and relics dating back to the 6th century. The beautiful marble pillars reach 21 meters or nearly 70 feet high. The Basilique St. Cernan is one of the must-visit cathedrals in all of Europe. This massive cathedral is the largest Romanesque church in France and is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This cathedral has been welcoming pilgrims along the Camino de Santiago for centuries, and when you visit Toulouse, you really must go inside to experience all of its glory. Toulouse is a beautiful city. There's lots of sea, it's very walkable, and there's cafes all over the place. It's a little different than your typical French city. The reason it's different is because it feels like you're visiting more as a local rather than a tourist. Which is something I love about this city. Nothing beats French food. No trip to any French city would be complete without gourmet food. And we had two incredible meals during our two days in Toulouse at La Gourmandine Restaurant and L'Air de Famille Restaurant. Both are a short walk from Le Capital and both offered exceptional prefix and a la carte menus. If you have only two days in Toulouse, choose these two places for your dinners. The George Labitte Museum is worth visiting just for its beauty. This is a small museum, but it's the prettiest in all of Toulouse. And it's included in your Toulouse Pass. If you have yet to visit Egypt, this is a great stop to explore Asian and Egyptian art and antiquities. When you visit the George Labitte Museum, make sure to go around back to the Canal du Midi. You'll see the barges on the water and you'll be able to walk along the path. The Canal du Midi is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it begins in Toulouse and runs all the way to the Mediterranean Sea for 250 kilometers. It's a major engineering feat that was built from 1666 to 1681. For centuries, it was an important mode of transportation, but with the invention of the railway, it declined. You can take a barge or dinner cruise down the canal, or you can stroll along its banks. It's very interesting to see the old barges converted into houseboats where people actually live year-round on the historic water vessels. We stayed at Hotel Grand Balcon, located just steps away from the city square. It pays homage to the aviation history of Toulouse with photos of famous pilots that frequented its doors. It's a chic boutique hotel with modern amenities, effortlessly blending the history of Toulouse with the standards of today's accommodation. Toulouse has a huge aviation history and today it is the center of the aeronautics and space industry. Airbus Group has its headquarters in Toulouse and you can visit the Cité de l'Espace to see airplanes from the world wars to airplanes of today. It's one of the top things to do in Toulouse. A fun fact is that the first test flight of the Concorde took off from Toulouse in 1969. The main museum in Toulouse is the Natural History Museum. It's a huge museum with 32,000 square feet or 3,000 meters of exhibition space. This is the perfect place to escape the heat of southern France and to enjoy its displays that take you on a journey through time. When you finish up at the museum, come on out to the Parc de Plantes. It's a beautiful park with sculptures, lots of shade and green spaces. 
Jardin de Plants is located next to the Museum de Toulouse. The seven hectare gardens house sculptures, ponds, pedestrian pathways, and play areas. It connects with other gardens as well. Nearby, there is the long shaded pedestrian path connecting to the 18th century garden, Jardin Grand Ronde. Toulouse is located in the south of France, so any place you can find some shade is always welcome. Another must-visit place in Toulouse is the Church of the Jacobins. Dating back to 1230, it was built as a monastery, but today people visit it to see the magnificent palm tree pattern on its incredible vaulted ceiling. Part Gothic, part Romanesque, Cathedral saint Etienne traces its roots back to 1071. It houses the oldest stained glass in Toulouse, and when we went in for a peek, we had it all to ourselves. Welcome to the beautiful city of Carcassonne. A popular day trip from Toulouse is the fortified city of Carcassonne. Located just 45 minutes from Toulouse, this medieval fortress dates back to the 12th century and was meticulously restored in 1853. Today it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and the shining star of the Canal du Midi. The massive complex has 52 towers and 3 kilometers of ramparts. And that was the city of Carcassonne. Beautiful! And that is how you make the most of two days in Toulouse. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and click on that bell so that you get notified because we'll be putting up another video next week. Thanks for watching.